Okay, let's start with the the upcoming album, uh, Girl Disrupted. Talk to me about that title. Give me the whole concept with that title. Girl Disrupted. How much time do we have? We have a few minutes. All right. Girl Disrupted for me, um, honestly, it's been a journey creating this album. Um, and at first, I really, I didn't know what I wanted to name this project. I didn't know what I wanted to name this body of work that honestly was very instrumental in where I am in my life right now. Um, it, it, through writing these songs, it really kind of forced me to, to, to fix things within myself, um, to acknowledge, you know, to acknowledge the, the you know, the way that I, to acknowledge the way that I was maybe dealing with, you know, let's say, you know, older relationships, older friendships, um, the way that I was viewing myself, Girl Disrupted kind of helped me put that mirror to myself and disrupt the girl within myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Disrupt the girl within me. I just, I realized that I was viewing things in a very, you know, naive way. Um, and, you know, by writing songs like My Love For You, I got to really kind of speak to myself and say, you know what, this is the type of love that you deserve. Um, by writing songs like Prolly, that's, you know, there's, it's very confident, it's very sexy, it's um, a little edgy. Um, and through writing Prolly, it kind of, it just, it, it gave me a different type of power, a different type of comfortability within myself. Um, I, I, admittingly, I, I know that I view things um, through my rose-colored glasses in the past. And now I honestly do feel like that girl within me, that childlike mentality with certain things and issues that I was dealing with in my life, that has been, she's been disrupted for sure, 120%. And um, through this album, I was able to discover that and it's really cool for me. Now this is expected to come out at the early of 2017? Yep, top of the year. And I could not be more excited. Like this, album has been um thank you to my fans for once because my fans are so patient you know i put out eps and um allowed them to kind of come into my world in, in, in terms of me being a singer songwriter they they know my style they know what i like they know what type of melodies and harmonies and all that that i get down with so um to finally be able to give them an album is it's like okay you guys we finally here like girl disrupted and i cannot wait for them to hear it because i really really poured like I do all my music, but this album, I, I poured every ounce of my being into this album. So this is your first solo album? Yes. With Atlantic Records? Yes, absolutely. What's the pressure like since you've dropped EPs with Atlantic before and so on and so forth? Pressure, I mean, is you know. Is there pressure because it's It ain't no album pressure, or? you know, there ain't no, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no, I don't feel any pressure. You know, for, for me, with, Art and writing and, and, and just the art form of it, I think as long as you're being true to yourself, um, you don't really get caught up in the, the pressure of it all. I know that I created the best body of work that I could possibly create for my, my first album, and I'm happy in that, and I, and I love the songs, even outside of you know me singing them. If someone else were to sing these records, I would still love them. Um, so that pressure... I don't really feel that. And then in terms of, you know, my labels, like, okay, it's your first album and, you know, with Atlantic. And it's just like, nah, like I'm very comfortable. Me and my team, it, my label, um, we're very confident and comfortable in, in, in this project. Now there's two records that came out so far mm -hmm. from this, uh, <clears throat> the record with Gucci Man and the new record with The Dream. Yes, yes. So um, with this album, and with this project, I wanted to do something a little different because the fans have been so patient. My lead single is Prolly, it's featuring Gucci. Shout out to Gucci. Um, but I also wanted to, you know, I want to make sure I can still give the fans more music, find a way to give them more music, give them more visuals. So what we did was um, we put out Prolly, it's my lead single, but we also decided that every single month we put out a, a song and a visual for that song leading up to the album. So Prolly is my main single, it's my lead single, but we also put out My Love For You and a visual for My Love For You. Then we put out D4L, which is featuring a dream and produced by Dream and Tricky, um, and a visual for that. And then the next one that we have is a song called Before I Do. And um, that song holds a really special place for me because it's it's like my ode to Aaliyah. It, it, you know, it, it just feels really good. It has like an Isley Brothers brother sample in it. Like, 
it's just one of the ones you put on and you just ride to it. Like, it's real smooth. So I'm really excited about putting that out. Then I have one more after that, and then we off to the races and we putting out the album. So, yeah. Now, as far as any other features or, or producers on this effort, what can you share with us at this point? Man, um, the production and the writing, all of it is just... It's just quality and it's just it's just it bang you know like i i can't wait for you guys to hear hear that i got a lot of really great producers and writers that i've always wanted to work with some that i've worked with before and then some new ones um i have bangladesh who um produced the record on the album actually they produced two records on the album bangladesh is on the album uh sean garrett who i've always looked up to him as a songwriter he um he definitely blessed the album uh you know obviously dream and tricky they they're on the album um, a producer by the name of Squat Beats, who he did my love for you. Like, he's amazing. You know, Charlie Heat. Um, I'm trying to think of who else I might be forgetting. But just the cohesively, I feel like it was just something in the atmosphere. All of the producers and writers, I feel like all of the music just goes so well together. And um, it, it, it tells it tells my story, and I love that about it. 